Company. Oh, good morning, Mr. Thackeray. Morning, Julie. Are any of the salesmen in? No, not yet, Mr. Thackeray. Can I help you with anything? I'm out here at the club waiting for my golf appointment with Reggie Denny, the movie star. Oh, he hasn't arrived yet. But I've been checking around to see what I could find out about him before he gets here. Now, Julie, don't miss a word of this. It might make or break the deal. Yes, Mr. Thackeray, I'm listening. Reggie Denny will only transact business on the golf course. That makes the golf deductible. He won't play unless it's a threesome. That gives him a witness. And he never hires caddies. And he must always win or the deals are off. I've got all that down, Mr. Thackeray. Julie, I simply must get a third for golf. Club is practically deserted this morning, and I can't permit anything to go wrong with this deal. It's really a big one. Good morning, Roscoe. Nice morning. Anyone ask for me yet? Yes, sir, Mr. Denny. Mr. Thackeray's already here waiting. He's on the phone. Good. <laughs> I feel like golf this morning. I've got to hang up. He's here. Now, for heaven's sake, Julie, get me someone for a threesome. Uh, it's an emergency. And, and, Julie, be sure and brief whoever you get. Reggie Denny must win or the deal's off. But who shall I get, Mr. Thackeray? I don't know. Get anyone who owns some clubs. But be sure and tell him he must lose the game. Goodbye. Oh, fine. Now what'll I do? Someone who must lose. <laughs> morning, Julie. Beautiful morning. How's everything? Robert S. Bean Blossom. What's the matter? Did I ever hear you say you played golf? Uh, I really don't know, Julie. Who was I talking to at the time? No, no, that's not it. Have you ever played golf? Oh, yes, yes. Considerable experience with miniature golf. How much experience with real golf? Well, it's just the same. It's the only use a bigger stick, that's all. Oh, Bob, really? What do you mean, oh, Bob, really? I guess I know about golf. My father's one of the most scientific golf players that ever lived. He wrote a book called How to Play Golf in Spite of the Weather. He even invented a revolutionary type golf stick, the Bean Blossom Spiral Driver. He left me a whole trunk full of golf clothes and all kinds of golfing equipment. And you'll see, someday soon I'm going to play golf seriously. That's right. With a famous movie star named Reginald Denny, very soon and very seriously. What? We can't wait much longer. Do you suppose this friend of yours could have gotten lost? No, oh, no, no, no. I have the most efficient secretary in Southern California, Mr. Denny, and I'm sure she would have let me... Uh, something wrong, sir? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bean Blossom. I'm... Mr. Thackeray! Hi! <laughs> my, my! I, I thought I'd missed you. Beautiful day, isn't it? I hope I'm not too late for the first chucker. Oh, I see I am early. You two aren't dressed for golf yet. Well, you better hurry. I can't wait to get out there and smack the old apple around the court. <laughs> Is that a cat got your tongue? <laughs> Bean Blossom, you're a card. <laughs> what a prankster. Always ready with a great big joke. That's my friend Bean Blossom. <laughs> I'd like you to meet my friend here, Mr. Reginald Denny, famous motion picture star. This is Robert Bean Blossom. Oh, Mr. Denny, I'd know you anywhere. I I've been seeing your pictures since I was knee high. Well, yes, sir, you, you used to be my favorite star. Well, you still are, for that matter. I. I thought that picture, The Wind Went West, was, was, was uh, real good. <laughs> I made that picture 16 years ago. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, that explains it, I guess. I got a TV set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, say, hey, you want to see something interesting? Oh, hold out your hand. Got a good grip now? Just, just hold on tight and watch this now. It's very interesting. <laughs> My father invented that. It's called the Bean Blossom Spiral Driver. Yep, he got the idea from a collapsible drinking cup. 
<laughs> oh, Bean Blossom always kidding. <laughs> well, uh, let's start the match. Yep, yep. Such a wonderful day for golf. Yeah, I'll get Your honor, Mr. Denny. weather report for a few minutes, Mr. Thackeray, but, but right now the wind is west, the velocity is 4, the point is 58, the temperature is 82, and the barometer is 30. It's high pressure, it's all right, go ahead. I won't have the winds aloft until I get this balloon blown up. <clears throat> uh, Bean Blossom, old boy, drop the balloon. I beg pardon, sir? I said drop the balloon. Drop it? Well, if I did that, we wouldn't get the winds aloft, sir. Do it scientifically, my father always said anything worth doing is worth doing well. Bean Blossom, drop the balloon! Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mr. Denny. <laughs> the rhythm <laughs> really improves your game. Certainly, anything you like. Rather have a news broadcast? <laughs> Thank you. What have you done? Scared everyone off the course. Busted a windshield. Been the man driving the lawnmower, and you're still ahead. Well, I've, I've been trying to lose, Mr. Backward. Trying? I... Look at Reggie Denny. You've made a zombie of him. Denny can't stand to lose. And if you sink that putt, you'll win. And you massacred the biggest real estate deal on the Pacific Coast. Field Blossom, I implore you, mess up the shot. Please mess it up. Yes, sir, never fear. I'll mess it up. <laughs> hmm. 
Bean Blossom. Yes, sir? The hole's back there. Oh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm just playing the curve of the green, sir. My secretary brings your files, Mr. Denny. Won't you reconsider, Thackeray? This has been one of the most harrowing experiences of my life. I refuse to do business with a firm who employs a bean blossom. Any bean blossom. I don't blame you. But he's no longer an employee. Mr. Thackeray? Oh. Here are Mr. Denny's files. Oh, and Mr. Jameson says he can't wait any longer. Could you spare him a few seconds? Well, uh, yes, I'll speak to him. Uh, will you excuse me, Mr. Thackeray? Don't tell me that this lovely red-haired creature is that very efficient secretary you mentioned. Why, yes, Julie, this is Mr. Reginald Denny, Miss Marshall. Uh, you've heard of Mr. Denny, I see. How do you do, Mr. Denny? How very thrilling to meet you. I, I've seen you so many times on the screen. Have you really? <laughs> what a lovely hand. Would it make you very happy if I were to invite you to have lunch with me today? That's very nice of you, Mr. Denny, but I'm afraid I have a date for lunch. You have? Oh, that's too bad. Who knows, perhaps over an aperitif together, I might change my opinion of Thackeray and company. You mean you still might let us handle your properties, Mr. Denny? It's possible. You know, you could be very influential over a table at uh, La Cheetah's, shall we say? Yes. Very well, Mr. Denny, I'll be happy to have lunch with you. Good. I'll be outside in my car at one o'clock. Bob. Oh, hello, Julie. I was just packing the last of my science fiction and mechanical properties. I'll be out soon. Bob, I'm awfully sorry about what happened today. It was all my fault. I never should have sent you out to play golf. Oh, that's all right, Julie. Who'd ever guess I'd win? Well, anyway, I'm going to do everything I can to help. I'm having lunch with Reggie Denny. That's swell of you, Julie. Lunch with Reggie Denny? Julie, you know his reputation with women. Oh, Bob, this is strictly business. Oh, look, Julie, you're just doing this to help me get my job back. I That's know. That's not true. Handling Mr. Denny's properties is very important to Thackeray Realty. That's my only reason for having lunch with Julie, if you think for one minute I'm going to stand... Gosh. Julie, you remember the first time I ever saw you? I was looking through this water cooler. I remember, Bob. You were so beautiful. Your face was eight feet long. <laughs> oh, Bob, I know you're just trying to stall to keep me from going, but don't worry about Mr. Denny. I'll be all right. Well, there he is now. I'd better go. Julie, I want you to know something. Wherever you go, whatever you do, job or no job, I'll be nearby to protect you. place in the world like Hawaii. I mean, party after party, fitting from flower oh, to flower. <laughs> oh, it's a terrific place. And, uh, what's the matter, my dear? Oh, nothing, nothing. Oh, you look it up. Oh. Oh. No. What on earth? Would you like to see a menu? Uh, yes. Yes, I'd like to. You are, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um. <laughs> see, I'm just a touch nearsighted. <laughs> I see. What would you like to have, sir? Uh, see, you know, it just, just struck me here. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not very hungry. Uh, some, um, soup. Yeah, uh-huh. Just, just a soup here. Just a bowl of, uh, of, of, um, cream tomato soup. Yes, sir. Well, as I was saying, while I was there, Paul Hesse did some beautiful portraits of me. You should have seen them. 
Your suit, sir. Oh, yes, the uh, soup. <laughs> yeah. I say, you don't suppose he's a government man investigating my income tax, do you? No, no, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I suggest that we leave. We don't seem to be getting very much privacy here. All right, let's do that. Here, hang on to this, will you? You may need it. Yes, sir. Bob, you're ruining the deal. Uh, perhaps we could continue our discussion at my penthouse this evening, huh? Uh, I have a few friends coming in for dinner. Uh, black tie, of course. Well, I think that'd be all right, Mr. Denny. Splendid. I'll call for you at seven. Uh, shall we go? His penthouse. Oh, no. He, he's the man who invented etchings. <laughs> waiter! 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 Water! Water, waiter! Water! Waiter! Water! <laughs> waiter! <laughs> waiter! Waiter! Could I just talk? Oh, Where are all your guests? My butler quit me without warning, so I had to call the party off. Oh, I see. Uh, won't you sit down? Thank you, Mr. Denny. My close friends call me Reggie. <laughs> no, 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 not there. I think you'll find the love seat a little more cozy. Oh? Oh, yes. It'll give us more room to uh, get down to business. <laughs> well, Mr. Denny, I have here some figures which will show how we can increase the income from your Wilshire property by at least 6%. Very nice. Uh, yes, 6% uh, would be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw myself into the breach. They'll think I'm just a nondescript book salesman. Employment agency. Oh, monsieur, 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 monsieur. Uh, butler? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I, I do butler a bit. Yes, oh, no, incidentally. I am oh, so I... happy they give me a young one this time. <laughs> I am Fifi. Fifi. Uh, oh, we. Oui. I've been so lonely since the other butler left. Oh, really? How long has he been gone? Oh, six hours. Oh, how awful for you. Uh, tell me, is, is the master in? Oh, he is having dinner with the young lady. Ah, oh, no, no, no. You must put the uniform on. Too sweet. U uniform too sweet? I, I don't think I have one of those. Oh, I'll take off your jacket. But, 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 just, just a moment. <laughs> oh. oh, you have such a manly chest. <sighs> now is the butler coat. What? Oh, I say, look here. Half a mile, this is a bit much, you know. What's oh, oh, this all about? L'amour! L'amour! Toujours l'amour! Oh, well, that's different. For a moment there, I thought you were trying to get romantic. I say, I'm a bit new here, you know. Uh, would you be so kind as to give me my schedule of duties? Avec plaisir, mon chéri. The. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better go see what the master's doing. Oh, no! He's entertaining a young lady for dinner. You must not disturb them until he rings. Until he rings. You rang, sir? No, I did not ring. Big pardon, sir, but when I was retained by General Sir Archibald Chichita Tottenham, I always answered before he rang. He was a very crusty old gent. Are you the new butler? I think it, sir. May I draw your bath? Bath? Now? We mustn't touch the hors d'oeuvres with our grimy hands, must we? No, oh, this time I must be wrong. Higgins, may I speak to you for a moment? Beg pardon, Mum, but I must go to the kitchen to glass the pheasant. Uh, just a moment, Higgins. We want some of those hors d'oeuvres. Who? 
Right out. Ah, oh, there you are. I have been waiting. Look, you're toasting the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, Sherry, don't fight me. It is senseless. Yes, I know. Look, I've got to serve the champagne. You know, we've hardly had a chance to... You rang, sir? No, but what is it this time? Uh, champagne, sir, a bit of bubbly. Would you and the young lady care for a slug? Uh, for a glass, sir? That's not the way to serve champagne. You serve it in a bucket. Bucket, sir? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, my dear. But the agency pro... <laughs> Say when, sir? Higgins! Do you mind if I speak to him? Higgins. A big pardon, Mum. I must hurry to the kitchen to put soles on the fillet. Oh, Sherry, there you are. <laughs> now I know why the other butler left. He was tired. Oh, no. Look, leave me alone, will you, please? I gotta dish up the salad. Oh, leave those two alone. Alone? The master wants privacy. Privacy? Believe it or not, sir, dinner is served. What's going on in the kitchen? Never mind the kitchen, ma'am. What's going on in here? Don't be impertinent. Toss the salad. Higgins! We could be alone for just a few moments, my dear. When I'm tossing the salad, pay attention. You struck me. Back to the kitchen. Immediately. Julie, I'll protect you. Bean Blossom! You maniac! Get out of here! Oh, Bob, you've spoiled everything. Gee, I'm sorry, Julie. And I think you better go, too. I know when I'm beaten. And as for you... Oui, monsieur? As for you... Oui. Oui, oui, monsieur. You'd better stick around. Oui, monsieur. <laughs> well, I guess that's it, Julie. Everything's packed in the car. I'll say goodbye to Mr. Thackeray. Or should I? What do you think? I think we turn over the Reginald Denny properties to your management. Properties? Ma You're the maid. Oh, last night I was the maid. But then we flew to Las Vegas. Las Vegas? You, you mean that you and Mr. Today, I am Mrs. Reginald Denny. And we want to do business only with you. With me? Yes. That's right. Mr. Denny. Thackeray. Bean Blossom here is solely responsible for my newfound happiness. Happiness? You will put him back on the payroll. Payroll? Immediately. Immediately? Yeah. You're back. Thank you, sir. How about golf in the morning, old boy? <laughs> golf? Oh, golf! No, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, Monsieur Beam Blossom, as they say in Paris, cherchez la femme. I really did, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did, my hero. <laughs>